In this problem, we want to find the zeros of the polynomial function. So we got f of x is equal to x to the third plus 14x squared plus 41x plus 4. Now it's wanting us to find a zero, so we're going to set this equal to zero and solve it. So we got x to the third plus 14x squared plus 41x plus 4 is equal to zero. Now we're going to put our polynomial on y1 and zero on y2 on our calculator. So we'll go to y equals, press clear, and we've got x to the third, so we do x caret 3. If you're on a new or T84, be sure you do a right arrow key to get out of exponent mode. And then plus 14x squared plus 41x plus 4. Down arrow to y2, um, press clear, and then you want to put 0 in there if it isn't already there. Now we're going to do second trace. Choose intersect, so I choose 5. It's like negative 10, negative 4, and 0. So let me do in our first curve, in our second curve, let me put in negative 9. And we get negative 9.898979. That doesn't look like uh, it's going to change to a fraction, but let's try it. We'll do second mode. Press math, enter, enter. Doesn't change, so we can't use that answer. So do second trace, choose intersect, 5, and I'll try negative 4. So enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and I'll put in negative 4. And it comes back, tells me x equals negative 4 is one of our answers. Now, if you get one decimal that will not change the fraction, you'll get 2. So I know this other one's not going to work, but let me just show it anyway. So I do second trace, choose 5 for intersect, enter on first curve, enter on second curve, let me put 0 in for the guess. And we get this weird looking decimal. Well, let me exit out, I do second mode, and I'll press math, enter, enter. It doesn't change to a fraction. Again, if you get one decimal that will not change to a fraction, you'll have another one. So we found one answer. Well, let's take that one answer and plug it into synthetic division. Now our largest power is x to the third, so real small across the top, I'm going to write x to the third, x squared, x, no x, our constant term. We'll write down the numbers that's in front of each one of them. There's an invisible one in front of x to the third, there's a 14 in front of our x squared, there's a 41 in front of our x, and there's a 4 for the no x, or constant term. Now we're going to go through a series of adding, multiplying over and over to, to get our final answer. So we'll start with our left co leftmost column, we'll add. 1 plus nothing is 1. Then we're going to multiply. You always multiply by number in a box, but number you put down there. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then 1 to add. 14 minus 4 is 10. And then multiply. Multiply by the number in the box, but number you just put down there. Negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. Add, 41 minus 40 is 1. Multiply, uh, multiply the number in the box, but number you just put down there. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then add, 4 minus 4 gives us 0. Getting a 0 here means you found an answer, which is no big surprise. Calculator told us is one of our answers. If a calculator tells you it's an answer, you have to get a 0 there. Now this was x to the third. This is going to be 1 degree lower. This will be x squared, this will be x, and this will be no x. So we're left with x squared plus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this doesn't factor, so we have to use a quadratic formula. The uh, number in front of our x squared is, is our a. The number in front of our x is our b. So we've got a is equal to 1, b is equal to 10. And c is our number at the end, which is a positive 1. Quadratic formula says we've got negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Probably a good idea for you to go through and replace all of the variables parentheses before you plug in your numbers. Now everything else in our formula remain exactly the same, I'm just replacing the variables with parentheses.
Well, we said A was 1. So everywhere we have an A, we'll put in 1. We said B was 10. So everywhere we have B, we'll put in 10. And we said C was 1. So everywhere we have a C, we'll put in 1. So that gives us negative 10 plus or minus. 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. All over 2. Which gives us negative 10 plus or minus. 100 minus 4 is 96 over 2. Now I'm going to show the tree tree breakdown on this. 96 is 2 times 48. Now if 2 is prime, so we circle it. 48 is 2 times 24. And 2 is prime, so we circle it. 24 is 2 times 12. 2 is prime, so we circle it. 12 is 2 times 6. 2 is prime, so we circle it. And 6 is 2 times 3. So it looks like, to simplify this, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's and a 1, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 2's. What am I doing? Try it again. Not 5 5's, five, 5 2's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 3. All over 2. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, yep, 96. Now remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 2's, so they're going to come out as a single 2. And here's a pair of 2's, they're going to come out as a single 2. So we're going to have negative 10, plus or minus, and again, we had one 2 come out from here, and another 2 come out from there. And we're left with 2 times 3 inside, which gives us 6. All over 2. which gives us negative 10 plus or minus 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 6 over 2 it should be called a three number rule if you can divide this number this number and this number by the same number do so those are all divisible by 2 so that gives us negative 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 6 over 1 which gives us negative 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 6 now up above, we found our first answer from the calculator. Totus x equals negative 4. Our largest power is a third. The fundamental theorem of algebra says we're going to have three answers. So that's one of them. This down here with the plus or minus, um, that's our other two answers. So that gives us our total of uh, three answers.